In this screencast, we're going to talk about how do you put a really cool site uh, map on your blog so that you can see where visitors are coming from from around the world to your blog. This is a brand new uh, website out, and so we're going to help you get this onto your blog and uh, let you track how many people are visiting your blog and where they're coming from from around the world. So the first thing we're going to need to do is open up three tabs on our browser. And you do that on a Mac by doing Command T will open a new tab, or on a PC by doing um, Control T to open up three tabs. And so we're gonna have three tabs open. The first tab we're gonna have is we're gonna go to revolvermaps.com, and right here you can see the address. So that'll be our first tab. Our second tab is going to be logged into your blog here at ISB. So if you're a student, you're logged in at your blog at blogs.isb.ac.th. If you're a teacher, you're logged into your blog at inside.isb.ac.th. So, and then our third, our third one, our third tab open is going to be the front of our blog. So we're going to have three tabs open: the Revolution uh, Revolver Map blog, the inside of our blog, and the outside of our blog. So we're going to be able to flip between these threes and really uh, allows us to see everything that we're doing here at the, at the same time. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start at the revolver maps. And you can see here what we're going to be embedded. It's a 3D map uh, that will actually show up where people are right now looking at your site. And then it will also have all the little dots that you want from where people in the past have looked at your site. So it's a really cool way. Uh, up here in the top right hand corner you can even see how many people have visited and how many recent hits they've had in the last 24 hours. So to get started we're going to scroll down here and click on this get standard version and that's going to lead us to here where we can configure our earth ball. And they've got different things for you to choose from, different ways uh, that you can display your map. The one that I like is the one that actually changes the seasons based on the time of year. And you can see here it's kind of a moving map. It'll show where snow is, uh, where the glaciers are and stuff. So that's pretty cool. It also has automatically tilted the earth on its axis to, uh, so that you know exactly how the earth is moving, which I thought was a pretty cool little uh, trick that they did. All right, so the second thing is, is to choose our dimension. And this is one of the reasons why we have three tabs open. So to choose our dimension on our blog, and it depends on what theme you have, you need to decide where you want this to go over here in your sidebar. So your sidebar area over here is going to be a different width depending on your blog theme. So the easiest way is to find out how to, um, what the width of this is. You can do one of two things. You can either kind of guess and if I was to guess, I would say that most standard blog themes are about 200 pixels. There's actually a really easy way to find out exactly what it is, and that is just to use um, Control or Command Shift 4. And using Command Shift 4, when I click those three buttons together, you see I get this little um, crosshair icon. When I then click and drag, it will actually show me how big of an area. So right now I've covered an area that is two, uh, 257 pixels wide and 130, 113 pixels um, long. What I want is just the width. So I know that my sidebar for my theme is about 258. So I'm going to round that and I usually always round down because you it's okay for your uh, widgets to be smaller and not larger. So I'm going to round that down to about 250. So that's going to look pretty good. So now that I know that it's 250, I'm going to come back over here to my revolvermaps.com site and right here where it says choose dimension I'm actually going to choose 250. All right. So that's going to do that and it's going to recalibrate your map for you. You can now choose the marker color that you want and I'm going to look at my theme and my theme is mostly made up of the color blue. I've got a lot of blue in my header image. Uh, I've got some green up here but there's a lot of green on that map. So I'm going to look and see that I've got a lot of blue so I think that's a color that's going to fit with me. So I'm going to click on that dark blue color and let's see what that looks like. And I'll check out my map here and see how those look. That looks pretty good. I, I like the way that that looks, so I'm going to leave that at blue. You can choose whatever color you want. For the advanced setting, do you want to have a visitor counter? Yes, I want to see how many recent people have and I want the stars. And the stars are where the, the biggest, uh, uh, the amount of uh, hits you have. We're going to leave this on the flash version. And now the last thing we need to do is just come down here and copy our code. So I'm just going to click in here and it automatically highlights everything. I'm going to right click and click copy. And then I'm going to come to my dashboard and we're going to install a new widget. So I'm going to scroll down and under appearances I can do a drop down and click on widgets. 
and now I have all of the widgets that are available on my sidebar. All right, so here's my sidebar, and you can see right now I don't have any widgets. These widgets that you see are widgets just, just came with my theme. So what I'm going to do is put some widgets on my theme. So I'm going to start over here, and let's say I want to keep the search because it's always nice to allow people to search your site. Um, so I'm going to click, oop, it won't let me add the search one. Well, that's all right. Let's add, uh, we'll add the recent posts and we'll add categories because all of us are using categories. And then I'm going to add a text box. And the text box is where you can actually embed this code. So we're just going to click on add a text box. That's going to put it over here in our widget section. Now I'm just going to click on the little edit button on the text box. I'm going to click into the text box and now I'm just going to paste that coding from the site. I can give this like, thanks for visiting um, my site. Try to keep your title short. That actually might be a little too long. We'll see here in just a second. And then I'm just going to click done and I'm going to save changes. Once it'll save changes, you'll get this yellow bar that says your changes have been saved. I'm then going to come back over to this tab that is the front of my blog and I'm just going to click the refresh button so that it goes out to the internet and gets the new items. And there, you now see the new items. So here's the recent post that I put in. Here's, I only have one category, so on this blog I usually talk about blogging. And there are the um, visitors for my site. So as the globe rotates around, you'll see here we are in Thailand looking at, the, at our site. We can actually zoom in, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, this is a really cool tool, I think, that will allow you to see different visitors on your site. And it also keeps track of where visitors are coming from. So you can load all kinds of really cool widgets on your blog, but I think one of the best widgets is to have a way to track the visitors that come to your website.